Hi, my name is Aaron Rhodes of Falafel Software. Today we're going to look at the RAD menu XML binding, and we're going to look at a little bit of client API coding as well. During this video, there may be code examples written in either Visual Basic or C Sharp. However, the concepts are the same, and code is provided for you in both languages. Let's begin by creating a new website. We want to pick an ASP.NET AJAX enabled website so that the script manager is created and that will allow us to use AJAX controls properly. And we'll use Visual Basic this time. Now we'll go to design. What I'm going to do here for this example is we're going to create a context menu that will load XML data from a file to create its menu items and we'll also use some client-side API code to determine which of those menu items show up for different situations. So the first thing we'll need to do is drop a rad menu onto our form. In this case, I'm going to use a rad context menu. And I'm also going to drop another couple controls here. Two images. Since this example is code heavy, I'm going to actually name all these controls. So the first image ID we will call image USA and the second will be image Europe. Now I want to set some images to these image controls So the way we do that is open our Windows Explorer and I happen to have some images here that I'm going to add to my project. There it is. And then we want to add that folder to our project here. So in our properties, we can change our image URL by browsing and we'll change the image URL for our second image control. That should do it, except it's a little bit big on this one here. Let's make them both nice and small. There. Now we need to create a bond between the RAD context menu and these image controls. The way we do that is click on the smart tag and then go to edit RAD context menu targets. This will bring up a dialog that allows us to add targets. And what these targets do is when we add the target and select the control, then when we right click on that control it will bring up our context menu. We want to create two of those, one for each of our image controls. Click OK. 
So that's all the visual stuff we need to do. The next thing I want to do is load the XML data. We don't have any XML data yet, so we're going to add that right now. Here at the Add New Item icon, I'll click that, and we'll create an XML file and call it Locations. You'll see in our Solution Explorer, it's added the location XML. And we will, I, I'm not going to type all of the XML data in here because that would be laborious. But this code example is included in the video. And it's an excellent template for how to create hierarchical data with an XML file for your menu items. If we look at the structure, you'll see that the menu is the overall root of the XML file. And then within each group tag, such as here and ending with here, and here ending with here, there can be several item tags. And those are your individual menu items. Now that's done. We don't need to look at this file anymore other than to note that it has some North American cities and some European countries and cities within them. So back to our ASPX file. Now to load that XML data. If I double click on the form it brings up the page load event and we want to check for the the post back to make sure this only loads once the first time the page is loaded and you would think this might be a very complex operation, and you would be incorrect. It is only one line of code to load all that XML data. Load content file. And we need to give this a relative path. and that should do it. Now if we run this right now, there's our debug window. We'll just click OK. This brings up our website with our two images and if I right click on those images we see we have all these different options loaded from that XML file. And that's great. However, I want to do something special with this. I want when I click on Europe for only the European cities to show up and when I click on North America for only the North American cities to show up. How do we do that? Well, we could do it with server-side code, but that would cause a post back and it's slow and it's really unnecessary for this case. So we're going to use some client-side code to make this happen. I'm closing the website now, and we can go back to our ASPX. And now we're going to want to go to the source of the ASPX. We need to write a JavaScript function that we will assign to a client-side event for our rad menu control. great place to put that is right above the rad context menu that's declared in the ASPX code. The way you start a JavaScript function is first 
declare a script tag and type equals JavaScript. That will create our ending script tag and within this script tag we're able to declare our function. The function has a specific signature that you need to follow. We'll call it client showing and I'll show you why I'm calling that in a second. Although it can be called anything you want, this is descriptive in this case. And it takes two arguments. Now menu and args are what I'm calling the two arguments and the menu contains the actual menu that we're bringing up and the args is how you can find which control was the target that brought up the menu when you clicked on it. Now I'm going to declare three variables. I'm just pasting those in and I'll explain them. The item 1 and item 2 are created from the menu find item by text North America. I'm using the text property of those menu items that were populated because I know what they are and that gives us the two menu items we need. The third one is the target and if we use the args variable right here and the dot get target element function then that will bring us the target that brought up the menu when it was right clicked. The next part of our function is a nested if statement that I'm also going to paste in here And the first thing I do is I check to see if the target is not null. If it's null, then that means the showing event was triggered by a call to the controls show method and not by right clicking on a target. And if that were the case, I would want to ignore it. So if the target is not null, then I check the target ID. And if it's image USA, I'm going to show item two. Sorry, item one, and I'm going to hide item two. And if the target ID is image Europe, I'm going to do just the opposite. Now that I've created this function, there's one last thing we need to do. I need to assign the function to the client event. So I will copy the client showing function name and then go back to the design view. And then clicking on the rad context menu, I'll open the properties view and scroll up to the on client showing event. This is in the client side events area of the properties and just paste that in there. Now let's run this, see how it goes. Now when I right click on Europe, only European cities show up and when I right click on North America, only North American cities show up. This concludes the RAD menu XML binding video. In this video, we went over how to load a RAD menu with XML data and how to manipulate it with client-side code. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and remember, you and I, and a little bit of Telerik, are making web development easy.